Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to trigger flow using trigger conditions in Power Automate. So right now I have two SharePoint lists. I have one called Trigger Flow and the other called Flow Triggered. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a few columns here in the Trigger Flow. I'm just going to go to Lists and create a couple of columns and I'm going to make a couple of mistakes on purpose. So I'm going to call this one state required. I'm going to say North Carolina, California, New York, Washington. And we're going to make a no default value. So I left a space in the name on purpose just to show you what SharePoint's going to do. We'll do a cost field and it's going to be a currency of American US dollars. And then we'll do one more field and we'll call this one trigger. And it's going to be a yes or no column. And we want to default to no, actually. All right, so I have a SharePoint list with three columns and then the title column, which is out of the box. We are going to create a trigger condition. So why do we want to create a trigger to condition? So this flow is only going to trigger itself. It's only going to start based on this column. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a trigger condition when it's equals to the trigger body, open close parentheses, and then a question mark. A question mark to me is a query. I'm just used to that in Power BI. And we're going to do state required. But state required like this is not going to work. SharePoint actually uses the internal name of the column, which for every space you need to do underscore x0020 underscore. And because this is a choice field, we're going to do a single quote, the value, a comma, every time it's equal to North Carolina. And so that's our trigger condition. So every time the state required choice field is set to North Carolina, it's going to trigger and set off the flow. So in our second list, what we're going to do is we're going to set this equal to the title of the first flow, just so we can see the difference. And we're going to go ahead and test. I'm going to manually test. So in our trigger flow, list we're going to create a new list item and we're going to name it first try so the first try I'm going to choose the wrong state on purpose I'll choose New York and we're going to hit save and then we're going to do our second try and we're going to choose North Carolina and this time it should trigger now if we go back to our power automate test we'll notice that it's still spinning because on the first try it did not trigger and now the flow ran successfully if we go to our flow trigger it only triggered on the second try so the condition the trigger condition worked correctly let's go ahead and do another one so this time we're gonna base it off that yes or no column value we're gonna say if it's equals to the trigger body open close parentheses with a question mark for our query and this is going to be our trigger column and what are we looking for well we're looking for if the value is yes but with a yes or no column we're actually going to write true with no uh, single quotes it's just going to be true and we're going to click done all right, so we're back to our SharePoint list. We're going to set the title to equal false, and we're going to have the trigger uh, yes or no column set to no. And then I'm going to set do it again, and I'm going to say true, and we're going to change the trigger yes or no column to yes. So if we go back to Power Automate, <clears throat> we can wait for it to complete. And you can see that the flow successfully ran. 
So if we go back to our second SharePoint list, you notice that we have second try that works and the true value that works. All right, so let's do one more. Let's do a, con uh, condition, a trigger condition based on the value. So let's do greater than the trigger body, open close parentheses, and for our query, we're gonna say cost is greater than, how about 10,000? So every time one column is greater than 10,000 in our currency field, the trigger will set off. And go ahead and save. And we'll test one more time. So we have our four columns in our initial list. And we're going to set this greater than 10,000. We'll do the first one. And we'll say 10,000 and one. And save. And we'll do another one less than 10,000. And we'll just do five, five, five. How about that? And we'll save. So if we go back to Power Automate, you notice it already successfully ran. Greater than 10,000. We can wait a little bit to see if our 555 will show up. And it's not going to because the only time flow is going to trigger is if our column is greater than 10,000, which 10,001 is. So with trigger conditions, you can lessen the amount of flow runs that you have, base them off of column. Use trigger conditions, it lessens your flow runs, and it makes Power Automate work much faster. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. Bye.